Indonesia's President Joko Widodo's new cabinet is slowly taking shape with the emphasis expected to be a mix of professionals and millennials. It's also likely a minister will be named from the troubled Papua province. The region has seen widespread violence in recent months, with the government imposing an internet blackout. Now, we already know that Sri Mulyani is staying on as finance minister, while Siti Nurbaya returns in the environment portfolio. Several high-profile figures have been spotted meeting Mr. Widodo during the day, and our correspondent Chani Vatvani is monitoring the comings and goings of the presidential palace in Jakarta, and she joins us now. So, Chani, how many people have seen Mr. Widodo today? And, you know, are there any names that stand out? Well, it is day two of potential cabinet ministers uh, who have been seen uh, at the palace. And today, at least 23 people arrived at the palace to meet and speak with President Widodo. And that brings the total number of potential ministers who have visited in the past two days at this point uh, to be at least 35 people. It is important to note, guys, that the number of ministries is expected to remain the same at 34. Uh, but also, not everyone that made their way to the palace is confirmed to hold a ministry position. Uh, Fadrol Rahman, for example, who came to the palace yesterday, has, been, has claimed to have been appointed as President Widodo's spokesperson. So we could certainly uh, see uh, more people going there and meeting with the president, potential ministers uh, at the palace uh, by the end of the night. Now, as for names that have stood out today, uh, we saw several uh, old faces, uh, ministers from his previous cabinet. As you mentioned earlier, Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawat was one of them, and she has claimed that she will be retaining her position as finance minister in the new cabinet as well. Environment Minister Siti Nurbaya Bakar, another person who has claimed that she will be retaining her position. Uh, Transport Minister Budi Karya Sumadi also claiming that he has retained his position. Uh, now, one noteworthy face that we saw. Uh, Police Chief Tito Karnavian, uh, an old face at the palace. Now, the police chief has withdrawn from his post, uh, and he is expected to become either a uh, home affairs minister or even the next security minister. Remember, Mr. Tito has an extensive background as a terror expert. He was the youngest officer to have ever become a national police chief when he took the position three years ago, and uh, he was involved in solving a number of high-profile terrorism cases as well, uh, ranging from the Bali bombings in 2002 to the arrests of uh, several high-profile terrorist leaders uh, and also the death of Indonesia's most wanted terrorist, Santoso. Uh, Mr. Tito, as we know, studied in NTU in Singapore. Chani, we're also hearing that there's someone who grew up in Papua, Bahlil uh, Lahalaldia, who might be in that lineup. What is the significance of him having a place in the cabinet? That's right. Bahlil Lahalaldia is the chairman of the Indonesian Young Entrepreneurs Association, and he's expected to take up the position uh, of minister for MSMEs. Now, Mr. Bahlil was uh, born in Maluku, but spent most of his life in Fakpa and Jayapura, uh, both of which are in Papua province. And he told reporters that as a native of Papua, he was honored uh, to have been called to dedicate himself to the country. And this uh, is very significant because President Widodo has, in recent month, months especially, uh, he stressed that he is paying attention to the region, uh, which often faces criticisms of being neglected by the central administration. And uh, President Widodo has said that he will continue to build on his relationship with Papua and West Papua uh, the same way he has been doing in the past five years. Uh, he has expressed his commitment to develop it and uh, make effort to reduce economic inequality, uh, which is a factor that has caused much unhappiness for generations in Indonesia's easternmost region. Now, having Mr. Bahlil in his cabinet could demonstrate that he is taking his pledges very seriously. Chani, thank you very much for that update. That was our correspondent Chani Vatvani there reporting for us from Jakarta.